Hey guys, today I'm doing an updated test on the DJI Mini 3 Pro using the Active Track to see what it's like tracking you on a bike. So I'm really enjoying this new electric bike I've got. So I'm going to be using the DJI Mini 3 Pro to track me around some trees on this really good bike path. Now I am using the old DJI N1 controller on here only for the reason that I would love to use a new DJI RC but the mount that you get for a bike mount currently for the DJI RC is beyond terrible. I do not recommend it, it is awful. So this one is actually really good. It's nice and secure, holds your phone in place. So let's get on. I'm gonna head off down here, get the Mini 3 Pro tracking me and let's see how it does. So I'm really glad we have Focus Track on the Mini 3 Pro and under Active Track, we have Trace. So this can track you from behind, from the front or also parallel where it can actually track you from the side. I'm gonna be testing all three of these out today and testing and showing you the pros and cons of using each one. Now, before you get started, you want to go into your settings under safety. Make sure obstacle avoidance is set to bypass, not break. Otherwise, the drone will just keeps stopping every time it sees an obstacle. And then you've also got disable sideways flight. I don't have that switched on. I find it will just ruin the experience altogether. Also, when you're on the screen and you hit go, it doesn't actually instantly start recording, which is a shame. So make sure you actually press record before you hit go. Otherwise, you might just miss all the footage completely. You can also adjust the position of the drone by just moving on these sticks you can increase the height of it and you can also push it back a little bit as well so it's not too close to you once you've done that you can then set off and as i then begin the drone will automatically start tracking me and it's recording now the downside to this it's going to be a constant theme is that you can see the drone is kind of like swerving now off to the side and it's a really good shot but it's now just getting to the back and this is where i didn't originally set it it's now traced me from behind and this is where it kind of wants wants to trace you all the time. It works brilliantly and this is its most usable way of actually tracking you. It wants to actually keep you in the center so the drone will make small micro movements to actually adjust and keep you centered all the time. Here I can just push up on the left stick and the drone will now just increase the altitude and I can get almost like this top down shot of me riding this bike. It works really well and loads of people have been asking me about how to actually track them on a bike, on a trail like this, mountain biking. Can the Mini 3 Pro actually do this? And this is what I want to find out today on a trail like this, on a bike. How does it actually perform in real world testing like this? So let's now switch it up and I want it to actually track me from the front. So I want to get some shots where the drone is going to go backwards and basically track me as I cycle towards the drone. Can it do it? Well, to answer that, on a bike, no, not really. You see, the drone is in front of me here. It's going backwards, but it's slowly starting to get to the side of me. And then, you guessed it, it's going to now slowly start to curve around and get just where it wants, which is just behind me and then trace me from behind, just like we saw at the start of the video. And then, I try this time and time again. You can see it here now, it's just in front of me. As I start to cycle towards it, the drone's kind of like not moving. It's now thinking about it. It's just not moving at all. And then it goes over me, desperately wanting to get behind. I try it again, this time a bit further back. As I cycle towards it, the drone kind of sets off a bit late and then nearly slices my head off. So it's not going too well. And then try it again. I'm determined to get this to work. So I push it back manually with the sticks. Now, as I cycle towards it, let's see what it does. So the drone now starts to go back a little bit. And you can see it's doing all right. But now we'll look at it. It's now starting to get to the side to try and get behind me and almost crashes where I have to hit the pause button and stop it. So not very good. Trace on a bike, big fail. But okay, I'm a patient man, 19th attempt. I've now got it in front of me, got it trace. I've got it a bit further back. I'm going towards it. I'm ushering it to move, move out of the way, go backwards, trace me. And it's just swerving to the side again and it's getting a sideways shot. And these sideways shots are okay, but I didn't want a sideways shot. I wanted it to trace and just go backwards. And this is where it nearly crashed again and I've had to take over. So not good. And the Mini 3 Pro has two modes of tracking under Active Track, trace and parallel. And it should solely be used, I recommend, for what it wants to do, which is trace 
from behind. And when it is actually behind you and it's tracking you, it does really well. As you can see here now, it can just basically swerve around these trees and it will keep me centered, focused in the middle of that frame. It does a great job. And this is what it wants to do. It doesn't want to be tracking you from the front or from the side, which we'll talk about. It wants to be in one set position. Now, the only thing I could do here, I could lower the altitude of it, or I could just have it like this here. It is limited. It's not like the Mavic 3, where you can basically have it anywhere you want on a clock face. This wants to be in one position, six o'clock behind you, tracking you as a trace motion like this. And I have to say, it does it perfectly. I'm really impressed in this mode and this is the only mode i recommend that you should use when you're using active track if you're on a bike and in all these shots today i'm using the dji mini 3 pro boost look my own personal look so i'll link in the description down below but the boost look is fantastic at increasing the contrast and saturation without destroying the video and i think this works really well on today's video okay so now we've established that trace from the front doesn't work very well but what about the other mode so parallel mode how does that work on the dji mini 3 pro well we have to use this mode with caution you see this drone doesn't have any sideways sensors so what you can do is when you do select it and you select parallel it actually says obstacle avoidance unavailable in its current mode so this won't help you it should be called you are going to crash your drone in this mode but it doesn't it gives you a kind way of telling you listen guys this is not a good idea if you're walking or tracking you on a bike and there's no obstacles around then this works really well but in situations like this on a bike path with trees around having no sideways sensors using parallel mode is a recipe for disaster you can see here now it's just off to my right hand side here and as it's now tracing me it narrowly avoids and goes literally straight through a load of twigs you can see now i was going to slow it down and you can see just how close it came to crashing within what 10 seconds of its first attempt so i really don't recommend it you'll get nothing to stop it it'll just keep on going here now i've actually just increased the altitude it's just off to my right hand side still and i'm just noting to see what it's going to do because the tree is pretty close to it I've just pushed it back a little bit, but then I have to manually take over and stop it because it was about to crash into this tree, no sideways protection. So if you actually hit disable sideways flight, so actually turn that on, let's try that now in parallel mode. But interestingly, if you actually go to select parallel mode, it will then automatically go back to trace. So if you are trying to use parallel mode and it's not working at all, or it doesn't highlight it, you've probably got that checked in the settings. So my recommendation, if you're on a bike, I was having loads of fun on this new bike today, just use trace mode from behind. If you're using it from the front, it's probably going to want to get behind anyway. Parallel is just not safe when you've got loads of obstacles around. So I would just recommend keeping it in trace. Now I have done another video when the Mini 3 Pro came out testing the active track. I went into full detail on the whole focus mode, including spotlight as well. And in that example, I used it in both a car, a boat, and also walking as well. And in in all those examples it worked perfectly and that's because the drone could have been higher up and also at a further distance away when it's tracking objects like cars and boats it can actually identify them a lot easier so it doesn't mind being further away but when it's tracking someone like a human or a bike it wants to be closer and this is where the problems arise especially using parallel mode when you've got loads of obstacles around so parallel mode and the mini 3 pro i just don't recommend it and that is a huge limitation and downside to the active track so i would recommend stick with active track stick with trace from behind and it'd be fantastic so i hope you enjoyed that guys if you are new around here make sure you like and subscribe let me know what you think about active track do you use it a lot is it one of your favorite features if you want to check out my full video on active track and spotlight i'll put this video in the corner thanks so much for watching see you soon Bye bye